What is the number one question I get asked about any new release of Camtasia? It is probably, hands down, no doubt about it, not even close, is it worth the upgrade? Okay, so let's take a look at just kind of some of the stuff that I use when I talk about upgrading to a version of Camtasia, right? So first of all, a lot of it boils down to features, right? Well, what's new? What do you get? And I have a video that I laid it all out. So I'm not going to belabor all the features, okay? Because in this particular little review thingy here, it's kind of superfluous in the sense that I'll show you what the criteria for deciding whether or not it's worth the upgrade. So what you can do is go watch this video and it will show you all of the new features and functions and all that good stuff, right? So that being the baseline for deciding whether or not to upgrade, it really comes down to a couple of things. Camtasia 2021 has in general these various benefits, right? And those benefits are a result of all the features and stuff that are in the previous video. Okay, so in essence, what I found was that there are a lot of really decent editing and productivity enhancements. What I mean by that is that in the Camtasia editing process, there are features that really help and make things easier or faster. So that's one of the, the big kind of blanket areas that we're going to use to look at and see if it is worth the upgrade. Are those editing and productivity enhancements worth the upgrade? There are also some new effects for more pro looking videos. That's another, I call it a category of stuff. There's a couple of file formats new Lottie file animations and a new way to save your projects in a standalone fashion, right? And then there's also one year of maintenance included and I'll touch on what that is and why it's important for us to consider when we're doing our Camtasia 2021 evaluation. But the punchline to the whole thing is when people ask me if they should upgrade, the answer is I have no idea. <laughs> It, it depends on you and the criteria that I would use or I would ask you the questions I would have you delve into to help you decide if it is a worthwhile upgrade for you almost always start off with this basic premise here how often do you use Camtasia is your profession a Camtasia editor <laughs> You know, is that what you do? Do you make Camtasia videos? Well, that's kind of what I do, right? So for me, it's almost a no-brainer, and I'll talk about that in a second. But for the vast majority of people, your first kind of soul-searching <laughs> thing you want to get into is how often do you use Camtasia? Is Camtasia core to your business? is another question that is a good one to answer. What version are you upgrading from? And we'll touch on that in just a second. And then how good do you want your videos to be? So as you can imagine, if you don't use Camtasia all that often, do features, let's just jump back up. If you don't use Camtasia all that often, are editing and productivity enhancements all that important to you? We'll take a look at the feature list in just a second, but you know, some of the productivity stuff and editing, for example, I'll give you one example, proxy videos. If you don't do a lot of editing of video clips and things like that, you probably have never experienced having the preview on the timeline of your project lag and jerk and drive you insane okay but on the other hand if you have then these kinds of productivity enhancements like a smooth preview playback are almost priceless <laughs> but that depends on how often and how heavily you use the software right so that's kind of one of the the big criterias in terms of how often you use Camtasia. If you are the occasional user and you know how to get what you want to get done in whatever version of Camtasia you're running, 
then it's going to boil down to, you know, a couple of other aspects that we'll wrap up with here in just a second when we reveal our verdict, okay? But these are the things that I basically get into. Is it core to your business? That makes it a, a business decision, right? Because anything that improves your efficiency and productivity, well, that's money, right? Time is money. Never more true than when you're editing video. Okay, and then here we'll just kind of touch on a few of those types of things. And let's see here. I mentioned proxy videos, the ability to generate proxy videos. That is a pure editing enhancement. New visual effects, we talked about the media mats. And then again, how good do you want your videos to look? Things like the motion blur visual effect can really add just a spark of professionalism that wasn't in previous versions. Now, is a motion blur visual effect critical? Well, probably not. <laughs> but I would almost submit that if you use it in certain cases, it's one of those things that can really help make something look like it was done in a much higher end package, you know, a higher end video editor. Why? Because every other video editor on the planet probably has a motion blur effect. So in a case like that, it's they're adding stuff in, making things better, and that's, again, the essence of what an upgrade basically is. So this is a list of them. I've given you guys the links to go check out the Camtasia history. Okay, and then let's take a look at one other thing. Interestingly enough, Within a major release, we also get what are called minor updates, right? So a minor update, in other words, 2021.0.1, was released two days after Camtasia shipped. A lot of times these are bug fixes and things like that, but, you know, there are, are, are a lot of little improvements. And I'll leave you to kind of peruse this maybe in the replay or again go to the history page and take a look at these. It's a lot more little things and they will add more into a major release. So the punchline there is that if you upgrade you're going to get these features right now today. right? But that's not to say that they aren't going to come out with gosh a slew of these minor updates with additional and new features before the next major release. Okay, so that's something to kind of take into consideration. And let's just kind of take a look then at what all those features and functions are good for. Editing, just hands down, is easier and more efficient. It's easier, faster, more efficient. So if in your criteria those things would be of value to you, then that's a consideration. If you are a Camtasia 9 user, it's probably a no-brainer at this point because if you're a Camtasia 9 user, you can upgrade to 2021 and you get all the new stuff in Camtasia 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Not just features, but bug fixes. And we all know we loves us some bug fixes because those are always out there and those are always coming. Okay, so I'll put a link to the upgrade here in the chat box for you. And we'll jump over and take a look at that in just a second. But I would submit that if you're a Camtasia 9 user, there is a compelling list of features, improvements, and bug fixes to consider. Okay, so that makes it a little easier. And then overall, when it comes to the value that I place on something, it goes back to that, how important is Camtasia to your business or for your work? In other words, is Camtasia mission critical? It's what we used to call it at Microsoft. Is it mission critical software? And I kind of view it as my Office 365 subscription. I don't even think about it. I just have the subscription it upgrades. I get all kinds of new stuff all the time. So for me, it's pretty much a no-brainer because Camtasia is mission critical, but that's something that you're going to have to decide. Now, there's one other interesting aspect here, and that is that one year of maintenance is included 
So what is that? When it comes down to it, when it's all said and done at the end of the day, whether or not it's worth the upgrade has to do with the cost. Is the cost of the upgrade worth all of the additional features and functions that one might acquire or have available as a result of upgrading? So the scoop is that the upgrade price from whatever version of Camtasia you have you can have Camtasia version 5 and you can get the upgrade all the way up to 2021 for 140 bucks. Now you can think of that I think as a yearly subscription because TechSmith has stated and is basically fulfilling the idea that they are coming out with a new major release every year. We've seen that 2018, 2019, 2020 and now 2021. Okay, but here is a little bit of cost factor action to consider, and I don't know how long they're going to keep doing this, but let's take a look down here. Your upgrade price of $140 also includes a year of what they call maintenance, and maintenance you can think of as an upgrade contract. So, what that basically means is that if you upgrade to 2021 now, you are guaranteed to get the next version, Camtasia 2022, for free. Because normally you would pay $50 a year for maintenance. Well, you don't have to pay that here. So, you could realistically kind of think of your upgrade costs as getting cut in half per year. I guess you could look at it as $140 for two years, right? So that's basically the scoop there. And that's kind of my general criteria for working with figuring out whether or not the upgrade is worth the price. Okay, uh, any questions on that? Hope that was helpful.